guys, uh, back once again talking about Doctor Who series 10 episode 2, Smile. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in this episode, there's a lot of stuff to get through. First thing I want to talk about though is some of the easter eggs that are in the sort of episode. Um, first of all, it's the Vardy, the little nanobots that are uh, building the city and the colony and everything in this episode. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the Vardy were named after Professor Andrew Vardy, who is a Canadian professor who uh, his speciality is dealing with uh, swarm robots. Um, so that's kind of interesting, uh, I, th I thought. Uh, also, further in the episode as well, uh, we get uh, the spaceship, the colony spaceship, which is called uh, the Erewhon. And Erewhon is simply nowhere backwards. Um, that's what that's all it is. It's just nowhere spelled backwards. Uh, it's also got a number which is one nine zero four eight four, and uh, I've done some research on it because it just it it just tweaked my interest. It's, it's an odd number to have. Why would you just choose that number? And I I really couldn't find that much out on the number. The only thing I did find was that one nine zero four eight four happens to be a color swatch match. For the color of the TARDIS, so that might just be a coincidence, but that's that's all, all I can find. Um, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, Bill and the Doctor go off and have a little adventure. They arrive at this space colony, uh, this human colony. The humans have left Earth, and uh, they they now arrive to inhabit this planet, uh, which is Gleese One uh, Five Eight One D, uh, which is interesting enough, uh, an actual planet that uh, was identified not too long ago as being in the habitable zone. So it's an actual planet, it's a little bit bigger than Earth. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of nice little science-y stuff being thrown into this episode, as well as you know some actual science to back up sort of the story. So yeah, the Doctor and Bill arrive at this colony and there's nobody around, everybody's dead, uh, but they don't know that. Um, and there are these little emoji bots. Now, I, I I really don't know what to think of, of the, these. I really don't. I don't know if I like the idea of it. I don't, you know, I, I guess they just there's the interface to monitor people's uh, mood states. Um, but I, I don't know about that because... I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll move that aside. Um, and then you've got the Vardy then, which uh, built the colony. Uh, so again, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of thought gone into how you would colonize a planet, how you would, uh, what you would need uh, for the amount of people that you're going to take, uh, what you would need to do in advance to prep for the uh, arrival. Um, you know the sort of technology that you're going to need to, and the sort of food that you're going to need to grow. That's why in the opening there's this sort of massive field of you know wheat and and so on, and there's all these little sort of um, gardens and everything that are being maintained. So uh, there's all that going on. Plus, uh, what I liked about the episode as well was that because it was just the Doctor and Bill, it was an opportunity to build on the character of Belle. It was the opportunity to give her some character stuff to show the difference between her and other companions. And one of the big differences in this episode to uh, other companions is the fact that Bill isn't just asking questions now. She's also forming her own hypothesis. She's sort of working out stuff. She might not be getting it right and the doctor will be sort of like, come on, you can do better than that. But she is actually sort of she's she's going toe to toe with the doctor, and she she's not not just being pulled along by him, but she's actually able to keep up with him, um, even though she does like I said get get a few things wrong. Um, so yeah, I th I felt it was a really good uh, uh, episode for that. As for the story overall, uh, the story appears to be. A sort of a rebooted edition of the Happiness Patrol. Uh, it's like they, they, sort, they sort of thought, well, I think we can have another crack of that, but this time do it right. 
Um, so yeah, they've got this sort of newer, fresher look at the Happiness Patrol, which is kind of what this is. There's, there's elements of uh, other things involved there. Um, but yeah, if you're not happy, you die. Um, hmm. uh, the actual story arc then, over the episode, it's kind of thin. Uh, there's no real... Uh, there's, there's no real conclusion to the episode. So, uh, it may be one of those planets, one of those colonies that they can go back to at a later date. You know, it, it's something that, you know, either everything's, they go back at a later date and everything's gone right, or they go back at a later date and everything's gone wrong, or, you know, the the, the body have merged with the humans that are there, maybe there was a war or something. You know, it, 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 there's plenty of potential in this setup. But as for the actual what the story was about, it was the story of an emergent species that had got things wrong initially, but there was no emotional hook to this episode. There was no real sort of moral point. Um, yeah, how you treat, you know, this emergent species is, you know, how you will, how, what will define you going forward. So, um... There was that, but really and truly, uh, there was a lot of running around, a lot of, you know, we have to prevent this because there'll be a massacre, we'll have to uh, do this to prevent these people from dying and all that. But because there was nobody else there, you, you, you didn't have anything to really latch on to, which is a shame, but um, it was an episode that was throwing big ideas at you and uh, even things like, you know, the city is made up of the Vardy, it's not... The, the, the body didn't just build the city, they are the city. Um, which does make me wonder how you would run away from something like that because you're walking around inside it. But, there we are. Uh, it's one of those little things, you know, small plot oversight. Um, I, I didn't mind the episode as it, as it was because I like episodes that do sort of ask these big questions without giving you an answer. You know, is this the right thing to do? Is that the right thing to do? I don't know, you decide. Um, so yeah, there was that, but it did feel like at the end of the episode, not a lot was accomplished. So there was that, and obviously this episode was uh, liked on Matt Lucas as well. So um, I'm, I'm wondering whether or not he's being double banked to do a heavier episode later on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was, it was a a good bit of intelligent writing that didn't have to it didn't have to give you this big sort of world ending event or something like that for you to get invested in it it was just you know there was lots of cleverness in it and it was being threaded together very well it's it's just the backbone of the story wasn't that real emotional sort of hook so uh yeah i i enjoyed the episode uh i still don't know what to think of those emoji bots i i i I guess I'm going to be wrestling with that for a long time. But, um, yeah, not a bad episode. I enjoyed it.